today on Divorce Court. I do not feel like I've been married for four years. I feel like I've been tricked for four years. Communication in our relationship, it depends on if she's in business mode, teacher mode, or wife mode. There needs to be an adjustment on both parts because I can't respect someone who's not respecting themselves and not respecting me. I just want her to be on task as a wife like I need to be on task as a husband. Counseling is needed immediately. If not, I'm gonna walk away. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Starin Garrett and Vincent Haney. The two of you have been together for four years. Now, Mr. Haney contends, I don't know if the both of you contend this. Well, I'll just put it on the both of you right now. You contend that you are in a covenant marriage. Now, there is a legal thing called a covenant marriage. Only a few states passed it, and it was in response to all of these divorces for no fault. Because most states, no fault. You just got to say, we can't get along, we're getting a divorce. But in a covenant marriage, there are specific enumerated reasons that, that you have to prove in order to get a divorce. So they, they put those in there to kind of you know, turn back the clock a little bit. And you can choose to do either one. You say that you're in a covenant marriage, but I don't think it's what it's uh, the same kind of covenant marriage I'm thinking. So why don't you explain to me what kind of married you are? Judge Toller, I and Vincent met about four years ago. Via part, via some friends of ours and business, and Vincent um, was introduced to me to help me with business. We got along. He was really kind to me. Totally listened about to everything I had to talk to, to him about, and he helped me with everything I needed to do. And um, we agreed to get married according to a civil marriage. I don't know anything about a covenant marriage, but so I moved from Florida to move to um, Georgia to live with Vincent and to get married. Once we arrived, he took me to a wedding across the street at a church someone else was getting married. And we said vows. I'm like, oh, that's cute. And so from then on, he said we were married. I'm like, okay, yeah, well, we're gonna have to go, you know, get the paperwork and all the other regulations mm -hmm. for a marriage. And he kept trying to, he kept trying to hold me to this covenant marriage. I don't know any, I still don't know anything about it. I don't know what it means and I don't want to be a part of it. I want a real marriage. I was raised with marriage. My parents were married for um, almost 45 years until death did them part. All my sisters and brothers, my whole, all I know is So you want, be, you want to be regular married? Yes, I want to marry. Let me tell you something. You violated rule number 1A1 in the Lynn Toller How You Get It Done book for women, which is never, ever, 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 ever move somewhere to live with a guy. He's got to put a ring on it or you ain't getting in, getting in the car and going anywhere. That's a, that's a violation of the, the, the most basic rule of womanhood. I'm just saying. Mr. Haney, how you doing? I'm all right. Oh, good. How you doing? What? I'm doing fine. Why don't you tell me your understanding of the nature of your relationship with Ms. Garrett? Uh, the nature of our relationship is a covenant marriage. Um, we did look into it. We did agree upon it. Okay. And, and things changed after speaking with others that didn't do research or find out about it. Okay. Now, Define for me what you believe a covenant marriage is. A covenant marriage is a, a binding, um, contractual marriage, um, mainly from the heart. It's not as easy to get out of as you would do a civil marriage. Right. Uh, I have no problems in having a wedding with, Sh with Steron to um, solidify it, you know, for her to feel better and for her family and my family probably to feel better because they do feel like they missed something. Mm -hmm. But um, we did a covenant marriage mainly because of um, being private. Both of us are, are private people because of the work we do. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a good thing to do at the time. Mm -hmm. But you said something very important. Now, I don't know if you were paying attention. You willing to have a real marriage? I mean, you willing oh, to, oh, to do have a... That was the plan. Okay. The plan was to, to after maybe a, a year or so, um, to have a, a wedding for our family, well, if it was in California or Georgia. Now, now, I'm not talking about a wedding. I'm talking about a, a state-sanctioned marriage. Okay. You know what I mean? You right. get, get a marriage license and of it's course. duly filed. No, that's what you're talking yes, about. Yes, ma'am. Yes. She says that she's been asking that for four years and can't get it. Well, mm -hmm. that's her perception of it. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have never told her 
that we could, couldn't um, have a church wedding because I'm a Christian, I am Baptist, I'm old school from the South, mm -hmm. so I don't mind having a traditional marriage, but uh, I think that, you know, our covenant marriage is, to me, is more spiritual. It's uh, God, myself, and Staran. Yeah. Um, and we didn't, we didn't have any ill will. Nobody hated the situation. Nobody was jealous. Nobody picked. The only thing it was that, oh, we sorry we didn't share that experience with you. Or Mr. can you guys have a wedding? Mr. So we Haney, can... Mr. Haney, mm -hmm. you, you're talking about weddings. I don't, you know, I, why don't you just go to the courthouse and marry her? I made that suggestion until we can have a wedding for maybe about two or three hundred people. You don't even have to have a wedding. But Just she go to the courthouse want, and marry her. She doesn't want to go to the courthouse. She wants. To, she's a princess. She wants the princess wedding. I, Are you? I have no problem with that. Is that true? No, ma'am. Situation at hand. Because that's rule two. Yeah, that's that's not it's not true at all. Um, Vincent did not have access to his ID for four years, so we couldn't go to the courthouse or anywhere else and get married. I kept asking him to... He didn't have access to his ID for four years? That doesn't make any sense. You get new ID. Yes, ma'am. I have access can, to my can ID. Can I finish? That's not the problem. That's, well, what's that's the problem? How, how come it went four years without a marriage actually occurring? Because some of the things that uh, took place during our relationship, um, a, a couple of times, it made her upset, I guess, because she wasn't getting the... Uh, support from her family and friends. Uh-huh. Um, and it just, it ended up being a problem instead of just being solved. Um, statements like, you don't have your ID, that's why you don't want to do it, or you really don't love me, and that was never the truth. I'm not going to fall and feed into um, the hype or the bull because of what somebody else thinks. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't need my ID because I'm at home in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I transact my business. Um, I'm a great businessman. Um, but do you, do you like, drive? Uh, yes, I, I drive. I, I can drive. Um, when you got a driver's have... license? Yeah, that's that's another story. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to. I don't get get, get y'all yeah, messed up in here. I, I buy... Can you give her a date that you'd be willing to go to the courthouse and well, get it done? I, actually, believe it or not, the second week we were here, uh -huh. I, I looked into the specifications of marriage according to California. Uh, found out the, the financial needs, everything that's needed. It's not the same as Georgia. It's a little easier. Um, and I find out, I think you can have a, uh... It ain't that deep getting married anywhere, I well, got to I, tell you. It's, I know, but it's really I still, not that deep. My first deep. time, I just want to make sure everything is right, okay? But, but it's not but hard I gave, to do. I, told I her, married people all the time. It's really simple. I, and I understand that, but I, this is another state for me, another place. I want to make sure that basically I know what transpires when you get married in California, because in the East, we hear horror stories about marriages in California, Okay. But oh, I gave, so I, I told her... I, 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 you and I talk about two of them. Yeah. I know what's happening here. I'm, I'm no longer confused. If I make a statement, she thinks it's an order. Mm -hmm. I don't have a little whiny voice. I have a masculine voice. Mm -hmm. I, she's never seen me scream at her. I've never cursed her out. I might use profanity. And I try to control it because she doesn't like profanity. I, I want to talk to Ms. Garrett. During the four years of your relationship, what has caused you the most problem? Is it the fact that you're not married and, and that's upsetting for your family, or is there something interpersonally that is happening between the two of you that has caused uh, some static? Okay. Um, it's the trickery behind the marriage deal. We're, we're all grown. We know what marriage is um, civilly and via, well, I don't know much about covenant, but we know in America, when we are in America, what marriage should be. And he couldn't get his ID, his ID for four years until I was leaving to go to California, and he was able to get it the next day. And I just really feel tricked and sad that, you know, um, I've changed my life around a whole lot, you know, to adapt and to be with him. And um, I agreed to marry, but I didn't agree to a game. And I'm uncomfortable with not um, the dishonesty in the mm -hmm. heart, because I'm a human being. I know when you're being honest. Mm -hmm. I know when you're not being honest. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, you know uh, him and his homeboys chop it up about, you know, how to treat women. 
and that all women, you know, are related to four-legged animals, which I finally um, find inappropriate. And I still dealt with it in spite of all I believe from the my gut and my heart and try to give them time to, you know, um, for us to, you know, maybe grow and understand each other and see a different perspective from both sides. Mm -hmm. I can understand, you know. Yeah. The yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Mr. Haney, from your perspective, how is the relationship between the two? Marriage notwithstanding. We uh, don't have major problems, probably like a, another relationship. Uh, the biggest problem, I feel that she tries to read into things that she doesn't understand like the statement she just made about me and my homeboys. First of all, I don't have homeboys. Mm -hmm. She might have it confused with um, business associates because mm -hmm. I am in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. and I do deal with people that have been unsavvy about their words, mm -hmm. but that does not have anything to do with me. Doesn't reflect your feelings. No, it doesn't reflect my feelings. I, I have a, a great respect for women. I have a greater respect for my wife because um, I waited till I was 47 years old to even get married. Mm -hmm. This is not a game to me. Mm -hmm. uh, family is very important. Uh, a whole full family. I don't want half a family. Um, but she has to get those ideals of negativity because she doesn't understand. Um, she needs to talk to me more and stop pushing it. The, well, what, uh, what doesn't she understand? Well, just like she said, my outlook on women. That's not right. I, I don't... My outlook on women is not them being four-legged animals. That's, mm -hmm. that's crazy because I have a mother. And I would never call my mother, uh, my sisters. What gives you that impression that he feels that way about women? I can understand you feeling uncomfortable with him, you know, dragging his feet and, and doing a whole bunch of who shot John about marrying you. But what makes you believe he has that negative opinion of women? The constant, repetitive calling women bees. I don't use that language, so I'm not going to. Um, calling women bees for just that bee did this, that bee got on my nerve. I'm like, that's not appropriate. You know, I'm a woman. You shouldn't call women bees. You know, your mom's a woman. Is he verbally abusive towards you? Yes, Does he call you names? Um, if he, I told him when we first got, when I first found out he did, I said, if you ever call me a bee, that's a wrap that day. I'm, I'm, I'm not, and I really don't appreciate you talking to other people like that. But he's very extremely aggressive and controlling verbally. I continue to try to communicate, hey, I can hear her. I'm not a child. Do this, do that. Go here, go there. Sit down. I, I, got, I didn't ask you. If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. That's over-exaggeration. It's over-exaggeration. Explain that to me. What, 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 what... If, if I make a statement, she thinks it's an order. Mm -hmm. I don't have a little whiny voice. I have a masculine voice. Mm -hmm. I, she's never seen me scream at her. I've never cursed her out. I might use profanity. And I try to control it because she doesn't like profanity. But when she uses profanity, she forgets. Mm -hmm. when, she, when she's human, I mean, it's like, like uh, I've heard the pastor say, that other girl, I know that other girl. Mm -hmm. And she looks beautiful, in as she does now, and wants to look beautiful in front of everybody at all times, instead of being human, you know, instead of being stiff. I had to separate myself to take care of my family. So you left? I left. Then you moved with him to California? We came to California together to actually try to get this resolved to see if we can fix it. So you broke rule number one twice. <laughs>
your view on what he's talking about. He's talking about finances, which is a whole nother story because he doesn't really, he brings them in when he feels like it. On days he's not amazing, he'll go work. Um, and then when he goes to work, he'll quit jobs after three weeks because the boss isn't doing what he says do. Um, he's lost several jobs, cost us several houses. And um, I try to pay bills, you know, and, and get things done that need to be done and try to keep a flow because I have children. I do have to, I raise three children. And, um, well, what is your primary source of income? Your business? Um, or, do you, or you have a business together? No, or you work for people? My business is my um, primary primary source of my income. Um, but I haven't been doing it full time recently because we just transitioned to California. When I lived in Georgia, we weren't living together for the last, since January of uh, this year. And I ran a group home. I, um, I Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I mean, it, 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 the more information I get, it's a lot. the less I know. Uh, um, uh, you say he's overbearing and, and, and controlling and critical. Because you two seem like you're talking about two different people. I mean, it's just so yes. Yes. off. I, I would really like to um, finish my thought process to, um, to you. I don't, but I... I got this much time. I understand. I'll make it. I'll make it really spend quick. spend it all talking no, about one thing. No, I'll I'll make it really quick. Um, I had to separate myself and my finances because of there was an addiction that was taking the money, and I had children to raise. So therefore, I had to pick up the pieces um, and start an, an additional business while I was um, running my business, so that I could pay for my son and I to have somewhere to stay. Because there was um, a habit. I know weed is legal in California, and that's fine. Um, and and then people can do smoke wherever they want to smoke at. Just take care of your responsibilities. That wasn't happening in our home. So I had to separate myself to take care of my family. So you left? I left. Then you moved with him to California? We came to California together to actually try to get this resolved to see if we can fix it. So you broke rule number one twice. <laughs> Should Staron and Vincent get legally married? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Typically, when I have a couple in front of me, I, you know, even though they don't agree about how things went or what was going on, I can cobble together some kind of rational story that takes both of their points of view and, and, and puts it together and seems like it makes some sense. I don't know what y'all talking about. Uh, and I don't think you know what each other's talking about. I don't, I don't think, you know, you don't have the same dream, the same plan, the same direction. And I don't think that you communicate well because what you're saying and feeling is so different from what he's saying and feeling and, and you never meet in the middle. Rule 1A is Rule 1A for a reason. You never move until you got the ring. He don't, you know, he's giving you a whole lot of reasons and a whole lot of excuses why he doesn't want to do a marriage marriage, but a marriage is easy. Vegas is an hour away. You pop over there, you get married, it's over. If he had wanted to do that, he'd have done that. If I were you, I'd roll. Okay. I'd go, I, I would go. Now, if you want to keep her, you can follow her, marry her, and I think she would stay. But you have to make that decision. But as I, as I said before, that's not the problem. Yeah, well, the problem is not me marrying her. The problem is how she wants to do it. But th that's that, what I'm saying, that, that, which is why I'm saying I think she should roll. I'm tell you know, telling you the options that you have if you want to keep her, but I think you, because you guys are not on the same page at all. Okay. Y'all got to, you know, separate. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That, to me, is the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. The only thing that makes sense. I wish you both the best. Thank I you. really, really do. I, don't th I think you're decent people. I just don't think you, you know who the other one is at all. Yeah. And there's never a good basis for marriage. This matter is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>been doing work on what our relationship there's no problem with a, a wedding um, she can have a wedding when she wants to judge Lynn told me that I should move on today and it's very very painful I invested a lot of time into this relationship but um, I'm a pretty smart human being and I think I've